G'day guys, this is Googs and you're welcome to my drunk philosophy. And yeah, I'm having a bit of a drink tonight, a bit of a, the old dimples. If you don't know what dimples is, you should try it. It's fucking good shit. There we go. Yeah. Tonight, I'm going to talk about Australia and COVID. Now... Maybe I've spent a little bit too much time studying America, the United States of America, and a little bit about their version of libertarianism, which, by the way, is fucking awesome. And the idea that the individual is the smallest minority. And I'm looking at Australia's COVID response. What a load of bullshit it has become. Now, I know that there's a lot of people who've been scared by the government and by the media and all that other bullshit. And it is bullshit. I mean, they're, they're acting as if this thing's worse than the Spanish flu. For those of you who don't know, the Spanish flu had a death rate of about, in Australia, 8.2%. Like, this is post-World War One, just post-World War One. Basically, our boys came back home from World War One and introduced Spanish flu to the population of this country. And it was 8.1%. Uh, it killed a lot of fucking people. It also, there was a lot of people who survived the Spanish flu, obviously, because we're still all here. And COVID has a death rate of, like, at best, 2%. It's nowhere near a Spanish flu. It's actually nowhere... It, well, it's just over par on what we were with the flu rate in 2019. And if you want, you can check the facts. 2019, that flu season that year, my God, the amount of people who were sick enough to be on respirators was incredible in this country. It was a really horrible flu season. I know several people who actually ended up on respirators. So... Why the fuck are we locking every cunt down in the eastern states? Is it because our politicians are, I don't know, smarter than the average bear? No, it's because they're dumber than the average bear. You see, in Australia, we are very populist. In other words, we go where we think, you know, the politicians go further, the, further, than, further towards safety. And then the people get angry, they protest, and the politicians pull it back. This has always been the way in this country. Um, and so, you know, the Sydney, Sydney, the New South Wales has been locked down for like four weeks now. And they're saying, oh, we'll be locked down for another six. And all the people are starting to protest, getting angry at the politicians. And the politicians are going, oh, we'll, we'll start relaxing it, even though they're getting more deaths than ever. Not deaths, well, yes, deaths, but cases than ever, right? What this is, it isn't cowardice necessarily on the part of uh, Gladys, or whatever her fucking name is, big nose bitch. She probably wouldn't appreciate that, neither will the feminists, but fuck them. And uh, the thing is, people are getting pissed off and they're starting to take to the streets. 215 people got arrested la uh, last uh, Saturday for the protests. But our politicians are very populous which means that oh my god we've now got all this happening which means people don't want to be locked down they're winding them back because people are like get fucked and so they go oh knee jerk back off which is good and so it should be then you got Queensland Queensland uh Anna, whatever her fucking name is, is building, uh, the Premier of Queensland, is uh, building these uh, concentration camps. And I don't give a fuck what you say. They are concentration camps. And uh, <laughs> for, for the sick and the people who need to be held in, uh, <laughs> held for maybe they've got the virus or maybe not, Brisbane, you do your thing, but Brisbane, I want you to come out and I want you to tell your Premier she's a piece of shit. 
stop building them because no, no, we don't want concentration camps. It's not our fault as the populace that she, as the state government or the federal government under Scott Morrison did not give enough money to help your hospitals or to build new hospitals to house the people who are sick. Why would you build a concentration camp in the middle of the Nulla Nulla? The Wagga Wagga. No, I just can't say Wagga Wagga. Although that's in the middle of fuck all. But anyway. Why would you want to build it in the back of Burke? What? They just go out there and what happens then? I'm sorry, I don't trust the government enough to have that sort of shit going on. Who knows what happens to those people? No. It's not our fault that 18 months after the fact that your state government hasn't built enough facilities within its towns and cities to be able to deal with a potential major bad COVID outbreak. This is an overreach. All of this is an overreach. It's a power grab. Earlier this week, Monday, Scott Morrison came out and said, well, if we can get up to 70% vaccination, we should start stopping the lockdowns. And the state governments came out and said, no. Now, Scott Morrison, by the way, asked for this. Uh, he, he's the one who broke our constitution through these edicts and said that the state governments had power of attorney, not just over their states, but over the people of their states, which, by the way, is a federal fucking problem. Um, I've heard many people, uh, including a couple of constitutional lawyers uh, in various podcasts, say this, uh, that, no, the federal government actually has power of attorney over the public. Now, you can call that right, you can call that wrong. I'm sure if you're from a foreign nation, you wouldn't get that, but that's just the way Australia is. You know, we are, we've always been relatively authoritarian. Ask anybody who's ever ridden a bike without a helmet and received a fine for it. Um, so, we have come to a point now where the politicians have sort of realised that the pub, Joe Public has, and Josephine Public has had enough of this bullshit. We're fighting back. No. No, I will not have this. But insofar as the federal government thing, going back to that, no, excuse me once again, I'm drunk, with the, the Scott Morrison thing, and I know I'm jumping around, but fuck it. Uh, with the Scott, maybe, maybe it'll actually escape YouTube notice. Um, with the Scott Morrison thing, yeah, he's destroyed our country in terms of that. And of course, the state governments aren't going to give back their individual powers that easily. Um, we might need the Governor General to interject on that. So, yeah, may long we say God save the Queen because nothing's going to say the Governor General. Look that saying up, by the way. If you've never heard that saying or you don't realise what that saying means in terms of Australian politics, I don't care where you're from, uh, look it up. Look it up. Very interesting case of uh, overreach on the part of the monarchy or at least the representative of the monarchy. Um, the, the public, we're a populist nation. The, the public have had enough. So the state governments are going to be pulling back on this shit. Uh... It's coming up to summertime, and I think that, once again, we should be the free, bronze Aussies that we're known to be, okay? It's time for us to be a country again. So these state leaders that want to tell the Prime Minister to go get fucked, fuck you. Unless you're actually trying to be a sovereign nation, fuck off. If you're wanting to have your freedom, protest peaceably. Don't want any violence. Don't take your kids. Last week, unfortunately, there was a... Well, unfortunately. Police officers decided to, to pepper spray a fucking 11-year-old kid. You know? It's, it's, one thing that shits me is these protests, right? Last year, we had BLM protests, which were fine. You're allowed to have them. 
This year we have anti-lockdown protests and oh my God, it's the most evil thing ever. Man, this is bull fucking shit. BLM is not even a problem in this country. Who the fuck is George Floyd to an Aboriginal? Honestly, fuck off. Uh, it's time for us to stand up though. The little people, those of us who, at least to the elites, have very little power in, the, in their ivory towers, we need to stand up. And I've been saying this for a very long time. I've been saying this for a very long time. They can't arrest us all. We need to stand up. Because, man, you can't... For example, I'll give you an example. Mandating... Uh, bodily autonomy. You're not entitled to your bodily autonomy. Well, if you're not entitled to your bodily autonomy, under the same argument I can say to every single woman who gets an abortion, you're a murderer and you should go to jail because you're not allowed a bodily autonomy, right? Would that, be, would that be a good thing? I can't see too many people agreeing with me on that. Oh, I just put a bullet in your head. You don't have a right to bodily autonomy, so therefore it's not murder. And I know that that last one was extremely hyperbolic, but still, nobody should have a right to tell you what to do with your body. It's your fucking choice what you do with your body. Let alone a government who, let's face it, is full of politicians that we can't trust and shouldn't trust. It's time for Australia to stand up for Australia. And you know who Australia is? Australia is the workers. Australia is the poor people who've busted their gut. The small business owner who busted their gut so the poor people had somewhere to work. That's Australia. I'm Nathan Gooks Fletcher. This is my drunk philosophy. Be good. Be safe. Don't be evil. And fight like hell because we need to. Hooroo!